you said that uh, you would support a religious exemption. In Oregon, we've had five measles cases, which is kind of on par with what we've had in the past. The Dash one amendment that I brought forward would uh, allow for a religious exemption. Are you supportive, still supportive of a religious exemption? I don't remember what I said yesterday, so. <laughs> I certainly don't remember what I said at 7 in the morning, some morning. Um, my understanding is that when we had only a religious exemption, we had a Supreme Court decision that didn't allow a religious exemption without a philosophical exemption. The extent to which that's true, I would not support a religious exemption. Can you repeat that? Can't hear it. Uh, so the response was that uh, uh, Representative Greenlix uh, feels that he would now no longer, and tell me if I'm saying this wrong, no longer support the religious exemption due to his understanding of a Supreme Court ruling. So thank you for your answer. Um, you know, as background, again, 31 states currently have a religious exemption. Um, so Dash one would do that. One more question. Uh, new. New question? Sure. Um, Representative Hell, uh, I have a question uh, that we've talked about on education. Um, as you know, I'm opposed to the bill uh, as written, uh, both on religious grounds and um, access to a reasonable uh, education. Um, we talked about the California law and how that has um, stood up to uh, sub, uh, to some court rulings, although it hasn't been taken to the Supreme Court. However, the California law is different than this. Uh, they basically grandfather in uh, there uh, where, where this law would take effect immediately. And <coughs> under Title 20, Section uh, 14013A, which is uh, children under IEPs, it allows exemption for them to to continue to have access to education, the Oregon law does not. Um, I believe that uh, in, infringes on their both their federal um, code and the state's uh, constitution to allow uh, education. This bill would not only disbar people from uh, public charter, but also private school. Um, how are these people going to get their education? Uh, Madam Chair and Representative Hayden, I um, I believe that it is their choice um, to choose if they're vaccinated or not to attend our public schools. And private schools. And private schools. Okay, thank you. Excuse Madam Chair, may I add? <laughs> they, there is a, I'm sure you know, a, a public virtual school system that they could use to educate their kids if that was their choice. But I also do want to comment on the religious exemption issue, which I wasn't sure I was going to be asked the question. I do need to point out major religious groups in the state are supporting the bill as it is. Yeah, yeah. Response very quickly, Quick. and then, then yep. I'm done. Okay. Thank so you. there are uh, religious groups in the state of Oregon that currently claim, uh, claim this exemption.